Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at a cadaver heart, a real human heart. We're just going to look at the exterior features in this video, in another video we'll look at the internal features. Um, so let's start by orienting ourselves. Which way is which? Um, to figure out which side is anterior and which side is posterior, or excuse me, in, inferior from superior, find the pointy part with no blood vessels, that's the apex, that's inferior. Where all the blood vessels come out, comes out from the top, the base, that's superior. So superior, inferior. Now how do we figure out anterior from posterior? What we want to look for is one of the largest blood vessels, or the largest blood vessel coming out of the heart. We know it's the aorta because it's got this characteristic arch with three blood vessels coming out of the top. We'll go over these blood vessels soon. This is the brachiocephalic. Um, left common carotid, left subclavian arteries. Um, but this arch is the aorta. The aorta always goes up and to the left. I know this is my right hand, but it's the person's left side. Up and to the left, always up and to the left if you're looking from an anterior view. So this is the anterior view of the heart. Anterior posterior. Note that the aorta is a little more distant and going the other way. So we know we're on the posterior side. Um, you know, the blood vessels seem mostly, yeah, I shouldn't say that, but the larger blood vessels are more in anterior. So this is posterior, inferior, superior, anterior. This is their left, this is their right. So that's how you orient yourself with the heart. <clears throat> Some of the major blood vessels coming out here. So this first one right here, you can see I can stick my finger in here. You can see better with the probe. This major blood vessel here, very big, that's the pulmonary trunk. Pulmonary trunk. Just posterior to that is the aorta. Um, brachiocephalic artery, left common carotid left subclavian. Know your A, B, C's. Uh, aorta, brachiocephalic, left subclavian, left, sorry what I say, left common carotid, left subclavian. Um, the right common carotid actually branches off of there. Here's the right common carotid, the little piece, and this is the right subclavian right here. <clears throat> All right, so what other features can we see here? Um, what I said, this major blood vessel's pulmonary trunk, the aorta. You've got this major blood vessel. So we're, we're looking at them from the superior angle. This major blood vessel, this is the superior vena cava. Superior vena cava, you can see how it leads into the right atrium. The inferior vena cava is over here. It's just cut short. Here's the inferior vena cava. It's best seen from the posterior angle. So inferior vena cava, superior vena cava into the right atrium. Uh, there are more blood vessels here. This is the left atrium. You see one, two, see the holes here? One, two, three, four. They all lead into the left atrium. These are the pulmonary veins. They're returning oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart, pulmonary veins. So the atria are the smaller of the, of the chambers. They're only pumping blood to the ventricles. So atria are very small, you know, relatively. Uh, he, here's the anterior view. This flap here, this is the right atrium. The flap of the right atrium is the it's called the oracle, A-U-R-I-C-L-E, oracle of the right atrium. The oracle of the left atrium is kind of hiding. Here's that pulmonary trunk. If you look to the side of that, there's a piece of, it, of the left atrium oracle. Then here's the rest of the left atrium, uh, what, the, what the pulmonary veins are leading into. But you can see the little flap coming out here. That means all of this, all of this is ventricle. There's a lot of ventricle. You can see how there's this little diagonal cut. Not a cut, but like, this is, if, I, if you feel this, if you can tell from the texture, this is fat. 
and there's going to be blood vessels in, running in here as well. This is the divider between the left ventricle and the right ventricle. Left ventricle over here, right ventricle over here. This divider is it's called the anterior interventricular septum. Excuse me, sulcus. Anterior interventricular sulcus. Sulcus we've seen before in the brain. Sulcus means like a wrinkle, like a fold, a groove. And this groove is where you can find fat and major blood vessels, which we'll go over the blood vessels later on. The coronary circulation. <clears throat> um, right, so this is the anterior interventricular sulcus. If you follow this, go around to the other side of the heart, we'll see that there's more fat and more space for blood vessels running right through here. You can see the blood vessels and the, and the groove here. This is the posterior interventricular sulcus which also houses major blood vessels. Posterior interventricular sulcus, anterior interventricular sulcus. There's more fat and blood vessels running all around here, separating the atria from the ventricles. Separating the atria from ventricles, this is the coronary sulcus. All, wrapping all the way around, it's the coronary sulcus. The posterior interventricular sulcus also separates the right from the left. The left ventricle is the thickest, strongest part of the heart. So you can feel how thick it is. When we look at a cut heart, we'll see how thick it actually is. It's, it's pretty thick, um, comparative to the other chambers. Uh, so once again, right atrium, right ventricle, Left atrium, you can see a little bit of the oracle here. Left atrium over here, left ventricle. Coronary sulcus, anterior interventricular sulcus, posterior interventricular sulcus. Pulmonary trunk, aorta, brachiocephalic artery, Right subclavian, right common carotid. Left common carotid. The, com the common carotids go to the head. Left subclavian artery. Again, the aorta continues and it'll continue down into our abdomen. Back here, this is the superior vena cava. Just find the inferior one. Gotta look back here, inferior vena cava into the right atrium. And then these four, one, two, three, four, those are pulmonary veins, returning blood from the lungs. <clears throat> one other feature that I wanna show you that you can see on the heart, I'm gonna show you on this other one. So once again, let me orient you. So I, I know I was on the not on the anterior side because you can see the aorta is not showing very well. Here's the aorta goes up to the left. Here's the aorta. So this is the anterior side, right atrium and so on. If you have the right, a right cut of the heart, you can see that here's the pulmonary trunk. Here's the aorta. There's space here, because they are separate blood vessels, but then they connect again. This is the ligamentum arteriosum. Ligamentum arteriosum. It used to be an open blood vessel when we were fetuses, called the ductus arteriosus. But since, oh, let me back up. Why is this here? Why was there a blood vessel here? Well. The right ventricle should pump blood to the pul of the pulmonary trunk to the pulmonary circulation to the to the left and right lungs uh, to the, to the left and right arteries, pulmonary arteries. But we don't need pulmonary circulation. It doesn't serve any real function as fetuses. We're not breathing air. We're not getting oxygen from from the environment. We're getting oxygen from our mothers in the womb. So pulmonary circulation is kind of a waste. We want to bypass it. So rather than having all the blood go to the lungs, some of the blood bypasses to the aorta and then goes to the rest of the body. It's one way to save time, be more efficient while we're fetuses to 
use up as much to utilize the oxygen that we all the oxygen that we can. So th this used to be a bypass, the, the ductus arteriosus, but it shrivels up once we're born, um, takes a little bit, but it, it just comes together. And now it's, it's, it's called ligamentum, but it's not actually a ligament. It's a ligament like ligamentum arteriosum. It's just like a remnant, a fetal remnant of a blood vessel. It's no longer open though. No blood should be able to go back and forth here. But normally as a fetus, from the pulmonary trunk to the aorta. Since we're going to the artery, that's why it's arteriosus, ductus arteriosus. All right, I believe that's it. Again, anterior, posterior. This heart's a bit bigger and fattier, probably had coronary disease of some kind. Um, but yeah, that's the heart. Please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, we'll take a look at the interior features of the heart in another video.